So on the topic of evangelists, do you, do you envision a future where actually institutions actually will go on and start leading syndicates, not, not in sidecar funds, but actually, um, or, or I guess a broader question is, do you suspect people will do more creative things beyond the individual level on a platform like AngelList? Um, I, I th you mean so like institutions like us would, would work with uh, it? And, I mean, could be Yeah, like I think, for example, like one. here's a very common scenario. I mean, so I yeah. think there's sort of like different levels of engagement you could imagine. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, here's a lightweight level of engagement that seems like a no-brainer to me, which is we often will do an investment. Let's say it's a $10 million, you know, Series A or something. And, and the entrepreneur will say, hey, do you have any interesting people uh, who could co-invest, you know, in smaller amounts, let's say like, you know, fifty thousand dollar checks or something, um, who might be helpful to the company, right? And so we have our spreadsheets and our methods, and we may know people, but it's, but frankly, it's unsystematic, right? Um, you know, and let's say it's a company that's doing something in, you know, aerospace or something, right? Like we know a lot of people in the technology business. We may not know aerospace is sort of, I mean, it's technology, but it's a different kind of technology. And so we may not know those people or whatever. If we could have a mechanism to like say, hey, you know, we've got a million dollars of this round available. So it opens up the marketplace. Yeah, to you, those could, you could get some real, and I've had friends actually, a friend who yeah. did this on AngelList, and, and they said they found great people. So like, um, so I think like if you can do that and like you get a list of all the people that, that apply to, to invest and then you pick the ones that you think will actually be valuable, like that's a no-brainer level of engagement to me. So let's, let's, but, then yeah. th but that's, I'm not saying that's the limits of AngelList, sure. but that's like, that's an easy, You're saying it's a case. logical next step, right? Yeah, like, I'll, like, like next month I'd want to do it or something, whenever we do our next, you know, <laughs> like, like that, right. that near term. Well, that actually brings up some interesting issues because l let's just take the hypothetical example. It doesn't have to be you, right? It could yeah. be anybody. They have a $10 million round, they're doing a carve out, even if it's 500K yeah. in, in something very unique. And typically they may have passed that around with friends who may not add direct value into yeah. the company. And now it's opening up the marketplace to find that needle in a haystack, so mm -hmm. to speak. Right, yeah. that's kind of what you're getting at. Yeah, and it seems like that's just, that's just like, you know, that's what the internet's built for, right? It's like yeah. routing between people that have some common interests but, but didn't know they did or something, right? Like, um, now, now that's just the first level of engagement. Like down the road, you can imagine everything from people just completely replacing, you know, VCs to you know all sorts of things. And like, yeah, I've heard. I mean, you can, I guess, technically, you can spin up an ad hoc fund for every investment, yeah. right? If you wanted to, mm -hmm. at a smaller level. Yeah, and so that may and that may be, and that's really interesting too. I mean, so yeah.